there's many things we're doing, but getting this church uh, back on its feet permanently, and what little we can do to, to help that happen, that's, that's why we're here. I'm on the breakfast crew, so we're at the beginning of the day, so we sort of get everyone ready and fed so that they can be out on their jobs really early, so um, I do coffee, so providing energy and sustenance, you know, got to eat, so. So one of the main things here that they're doing already is to reach out into the community. And when we come in, so many more people were able to, uh, I think Pastor Elborn said, reach as many people in one week as they would be able to in, in five years as far as going out into the community. So, um, yeah, yesterday we, had, just in the afternoon, we had 15 contacts, people that we spoke to, invited to the dinner on Friday, and spoke to about the Lord. So it's really, it's really good. Well, it's a ministry to this church, which in total ministers to the whole area because they're trying to reach the whole area. So what you're looking at is a total overall ministry, not for just a building and just for a church piece of property, but for the whole area. Because as we do this, the pastors and the other ministers are going out ministering to the local area. And what you end up having is a place for them to come to worship, which as much as you know, the church isn't the church as far as the building. It is when somebody has a place to go, they can relate to it, which is a good thing because if you're just out in the middle of the air, you kind of lose it, where if people have a place they can relate to, it helps for the ministry. So it's not overall, it's just for the whole ministry, which is great. We know that the church is not the building, but being without a building, we see that buildings are handy. <laughs> they are, uh, when we were worshiping under a blue tarp, um, you start to appreciate um, a building and a roof over your head where you're not as concerned about the possibility of rain or things like that you can really focus upon what you're there to do. I think the, the main purpose of documenting the Lakeshore Project uh, as the media team, I think that our main goal is to capture a slice of the experience so that we can share it with other people who may not have been able to come or perhaps didn't really know what's going on and also to help promote the project so that Maybe in the future, more volunteers will come down and experience uh, this work, this fellowship, and this entire ministry. I think it's invaluable to collect and share as much of it as we can. Well, I think in several ways, uh, it encourages the young people to uh, uh, put their best forward while they are here. Um, it uh, uh, captures some of the zeal that they bring to this project and allows them to uh, share that with one another. It allows kids who have been here in past years uh, to encourage those who are here for the first time. And uh, in a long-term way, it, uh, I think, prepares young people uh, for future ministry. Well, I think the whole mission here in the Lakeshore Baptist Church is to spread the good news of Christ's love to the community. To serve with like a, a godly attitude, I guess, is the overall theme. One of the things that was asked right after the storm when folks started making phone calls um, into the area and asking us if our church was destroyed, and our answer was no. Um, Katrina destroyed our buildings, but the church was still here. However, at the same time, that, that church, our church, not the buildings, but the church itself was experiencing a, uh, a, a catastrophe unparalleled and to strengthen this church both fit with the physical and the intangible um, I appreciate a group like this that appreciates both that sees both as necessary the strengthening of the body and establishing a core base of ministry and then having facilities that do that, that, are, that allow you to do that, that foster that.